Here we go, folks. And basically, we're going to blow in on an object that we got. And we I will show you, which I pretty much would bet. Uh, I'll bet you... I'll bet you 10,000 bucks that basically we found, and I'm not joking because we found factual actual, and as many people as want to bet me because I'll win the bet, we've got, we're going to have at the Palau footage at this time here, we've got a star cluster here that I've got a link that uh, one of our cohorts that I chat with on the internet, there's tons of people that I talk to on the internet, we got a pretty much a match on this here. But you know, it could. I'm not betting that this is the same actually that I see. But we're gonna we're gonna step back and I'm gonna see. Now remember, that's the sun. And whether what somebody wants to say that that's black, we've already proved that that's star clusters that are in front of the sun. Okay. And I could blow in and on some because you're gonna see some stars here, and I will take time to blow in and I suppose to show some stars. But we've got pan stars right there, to the right of the sun. And as the sun moves along, and yes, the sun does move, it moves, and we follow the sun, the sun drags us. So you got to remember, I'm backing up here. But you get the signature here of pan stars, and you can see how pan stars is huge and large, and basically it had its own positive and negative force field, and it came through our solar system. And uh, this is actual factual scientific for you, because we're going to blow up in here up by the sun, and as you can see, that. You have stars and stuff. It's not the video camera blacking out. These cameras don't black out on brightness. Uh, the sun is gleaming straight in. All this stuff is hella bright. And that is pan stars. And you can match it up to what I showed you in my videos before. The guy with the... And you get a good signature here at the South Pole from Niermeyer Station. You can see the electrical current bubble coming off of it. And actually, it's a little bit statically connected with the sun. Uh, but it, the sun didn't overpower it and didn't cling it like if Earth or whatever is ever Mercury and anything that's ever came through this our solar system by the Sun which the Sun has electrically trapped it magnetically statically it couldn't catch uh, so it wasn't a very good spider web and yes you could make a big enough spider web out of synthetic materials that you could catch a train just like a baseball in a in a in a, in a glove okay just if you had a train going you built a big enough catcher's mitt to catch a train you could catch a train and magnetically statically electrically wise besides just solid materials and then you gets down to mass and Newton's law and so forth Newton's law is mass that's all it's not electrical okay everything is electrically connected static electricity DC low voltage uh, nuclear energy static nuclear energy okay that's pan stars ladies and gentlemen right there up behind the Sun Okay, and then factual will come down here as you can see that signature coming along there and then I'm going to just cruise along to the left hand side. We'll get over here and we'll go 999 and we'll pull in and we'll get the magnifier out. We'll show people that basically there, once again, that there's basically star clusters. You can diffusion on the sun. Okay, we'll go 999 and we will blow in on the sun. And we'll blow up a little bit more with the magnifier. Here we go, folks. Let's see some star cluster nuclear fusion and black light curvature because that's what it is. It's black light curvature. Your eyes will actually see and also the camera will and it doesn't black out. And as you can see, you've got all kinds of different colors there. And you've got stars too, okay? Clustered and tied to the sun, okay? And then we're gonna go in and at certain points in time you can basically you'll see some stars even in there at the black to the to the right there I'll just keep going in you got you can see some of the yellow fusion you got red yellow there's all kinds of every color of the rainbow out there nuclear fusion it's a star cluster the Sun is a gigantic cluster of stars it's a nuclear fusion machine okay uh, we, you get plutonium dust, ladies and gentlemen. When we get dust, all that st electrical activity that you see coming off the sun when I show you that CME action, that's actually plutonium dust spreading out through space. Some of it seeps down through our atmosphere. We get dust every day from outer space, ladies and gentlemen, from all kinds of stuff. From And basically all of it is, it's not really that healthy because it is radioactive. 
just about everything in space that is a star is nuclear active. Radioactive, radio, radio, radioactive. Okay, and you can see these stars in, even in the blackness, you can see, and I'm only at 900, becoming a little bit more, and it'll go away. The magnifier will be there a little bit, but we're in the black mass, and you can see the different colors in the nuclear core of the sun. Okay, and then you can see some of the stars that are magnetically connected, and the sun is magnetically connected to a magnetical strand, i.e. a, I call it an umbilical cord of stars, star belt, and you basically, if you watch my videos today that I was showing you up in space, when uh, Stereo A turned around and got above the sun and above the star belt to basically roll over and see over and look at Mars and so forth, so you can see the stars in here in the darkness of in red, yellow, and I can't point where the coot, and you can see the red, and then the plow thing came up there, but we're in there on the sun, and you can see the different colors in there on the sun. Gigantic nuclear reactor. The sun and any star out there is nuclear. It's radioactive, and that's an actual fact. And just on the lower end, there's stars, lower left. Nuclear fusion, that's part of the daisy chain of the DNA makeup of the sun and all the supergiant stars and all the stars in the universe. And the Milky Way galaxy for damn sure. And then other galaxies have some possible electrical connections to each other. Butterfly effect, and this is all butterfly effect. And you can see pretty much the core of the, of the sun right there, the bluish, and then the green, and then the red. And then you can see the light color, that's stars. Okay, nuclear fusion, ladies and gentlemen, stars, radioactive nuclear fusion. You'd have to wear a welding mask to look in at it on a reactor or collider. Take a look at the pictures when they look at the collider over in Europe. Okay, now when we go through, you got to go to, uh, you go ahead a little bit and you can actually see how fast the pan stars and how slow the sun somewhat in a sense because it's just all angles too and then the rifling of more than likely they figure that the sun rifles and you can pretty much see it when I step it back here and so forth remember at the south pole but as you see it basically rifles okay the sun pretty much rifles we follow it at 66,000 miles an hour okay and watch the clock I was going back and I'll go forward and what we'll do is and then we get pan stars more than likely possibly on the other side also okay uh, and sometimes, now if I would be wrong on this being pan stars there, I don't really care about that too much, but the actual factual that it could end up being one of our other supergiant suns bleeding through from way out in space also. So, but no matter what, that was pan stars to the right because that's the positioning of it. When I back it up, if I go back to, and I can even blow in here too, and you know, there's no, no, no magician there basically, there's stars there too. Okay, you see the stars, the clusters, and I'm not even up at 999 either. So, even in the black core, of, there's stars. Okay, and I could waste tape time and go to 999 and see them more definely, but it doesn't really matter. They're there. So I'll get back down here and I get the magnifier up there. I'm wasting a lot of time on making a little bit of mistakes on, but. I'm not going to take time to edit too much on this. This is pretty self, I mean, you know, if you've been watching the videos long enough or even if you just watch this for the first time. Uh, I mean, I speak clearly. I used to speak at the, uh, you know, like the opera things, I guess, basically when I was a kid. So I talk fast enough and I speed up talking a lot fast in here to get everything across. Now we got to hurry up and get in our last object. So I got to bring it back. And as you can see, you can see this. And I'll pop it ahead again step and it, at the nine o'clock it kind of disappears 850 you can see it and 840 you can see it really good and now I'm going to get this up to 999 really for actual pump to 400 so you realize that that's what I'm going to so that you realize that I'll get down to the plow thing I think you can tell there it doesn't really matter we'll get over to the stamp we'll get up we got it there and then we'll go 999 And then I'll have got the magnifier. 
and we'll get on on that bugger. And I got a core shot. I want to hurry and slip in because I had a person that you never know who your friends are. I'm just saying that just for everybody. Most everybody that I hang out with and talk to, we all are the same way. Actual factual. But he gave me a shot that basically, it's somewhat as a signature pretty close to it because it's by the sun and it's up by core today. Now there you go, you got a star cluster, okay? It's, and I can't point now because I'm at 9.99 and I'm gluing in on it, but you can see that it's got, and then you gotta remember the butterfly effect, just like the sun, just like anything nuclear, that you get black curvature to it. It's a butterfly effect, it's like the smoke. Burn a candle, you can get 20,000 volts off a simple old style candle. Don't get one of the new ones with the, the glycerin and all that stuff, but get an old wax candle Put it on a table, get yourself some insulated copper paddles. That means pa copper paddles so that when you hang on to the back side of the paddles, you've got a insulated, but don't play with electricity. Just have an electrician do it for you and have them show you. And basically you burn a candle and you can get 20,000 volts out of a flipping candle, ladies and gentlemen. It's all electrical. The secrets of electricity that they don't want you to know. They don't want you to get electricity for free. So. And I'm an electrician. I don't want to run out of work. And actually, I never will run out of work because electrical is the way everybody should go. If you're not going to be an attorney and a doctor and a lawyer and or a judge and a fireman or a police officer and basically hold everybody at their little whim to do whatever you want them to do, which basically in this country, you have your constitutional rights. You do whatever the hell you want to do. As long as you don't break the law. As long as you're not breaking the law, you're not in trouble. So this is a cluster that we have right there of stars, and I'll pump out of this real fast. Boom, 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 there you go. Get the magnifier off of it, and as you'll see, and then we'll come down even all the way out of the magnifier, and come down outside of our picture at 999. Plop down to 400 real fast. There it is in the sky. And the atmosphere is real thin at the South Pole, and you can see that right there. That's what we were zoomed in on. If you don't believe me real fast, pop back into it real fast. Boom. And we're just going to magnifier at 400 without going to the that's all up there so at 900 when i go 999 on the screen i get it re enough resolution that you just seen what we've seen and then i can pump out of this real fast that you realize this is all what we're looking at and that's what was there and we seen and have pan stars no matter if it's that to the left it could be a human being and be wrong on that but i'm pretty sure that that's pan stars to the left and the sun is actually moving a little bit slower than pan stars quite possibly so as it uh, we get drug behind the Sun which that's the Sun and I'll freak you out here we need to see the super giants too because we'll keep backing up I'll give you a, that's pan stars up to the right I've been showing you that we got a little bit of video time here I ain't got time to get the magnifier out of the middle of the screen but here comes the Sun just above the magnifier and it's basically the super giants ladies and gentlemen as I go back in time, they start coming in at right about there, actually right there, and there's darkness, and then we cut the super giants, stars, clusters in a row. Milky Way galaxy, all the super giant stars, and then you get the alley, and then you get the sun. Here comes the sun. And there's the sun, and there's pan stars to the right of the sun, back up a little bit, and I'm down enough, and that's pan stars right there. Back up one more frame. Well, that's pan stars. Pan stars at the South Pole, ladies and gentlemen. Yep, more than likely a supergiant star right there. When you see this halo effect all the time, that's the magnetical coming in from another supergiant or star the same size or smaller. Majority of them are bigger than the sun, and that's the magnetical connection, and that's the magnetical connection of pan stars, and pan stars was not a comet. Pan stars is not a comet. More than likely a falling star, a falling sun. The Earth was a star at one time, ladies and gentlemen. And we still have the molten lava in us now, and the earthquakes are calm in another day, 24 hours, we will probably have more earthquake action with more objects coming by. Our 3.8 kilometer size object has disappeared, or been is moving away from Earth, and we'll get that 24 hour period afterward, and we'll start getting a little shivers and shakes, just like you would shiver if you were in the heat, and we threw you in a freezer, you start shivering, and that's what Earth does. Hot objects come by, Earth shivers, hot objects come, warms up, contracts expands and contracts and we get quakes okay so I don't know how much tape time I got left that's pan stars for folks pan stars up by the Sun pan stars right there